Hi everybody, this is Alex Vinikov. It seems like a lot of people like to find out how uh, Canon EF lenses working with Sony A7R3 camera. How do they adapt and what's the quality of pictures, what modes are available, how other focus is working and all that stuff. In this video I will show you uh, how EF mounted lens, in this case Tamron 150 to 600 mm G2 lens, is working with Sony A7R3 camera and with Metabones adapter. And also there will be some eye other focus test and uh, face recognition. So let's go to video. This is uh, A7R3 with Tamron 150 to 600mm SP lens. And the mode on the dial is manual. And let's check the, what we have here. Uh, focus mode. Single available, automatic not available, continuous available, DMF not available, MF not available. So basically it's the same as with Canon 70-200 and the Metabone adapter is in green mode so it's similar to, uh, to Canon setup. Let's check the movie mode manual. Focus area. It's invalid with this lens. Now Tamron 150 to 600 and it will be I will set a metabonus adapter to red LED light or advanced mode and now what we have here single shot available automatic available AFC available DMF available manual focus available Continuous. Let's see. Uh, focus area. All this is working. Again, it's the same as with Canon lens. And now let's check. Now let's check the movie mode. Is Metabone set to? Advanced focus single shot not available, automatic not available, AFC available, DMF is not available, manual focus is available. So only two modes are available. Continuous out of focus, that's what uh, I'm caring the most about for the video and focus area wide is good zone is working center is working flexible spot is working all three of course and expand flexible spot is working lock on AF is not working same I believe same as Canon lens so that's a good result Now let's, uh, we are in uh, manual mode on the dial and it's a Tamron 150 to 600 millimeter with the Metabone adapter in advanced mode and let's see how fast it's gonna acquire the focus. Boom, it's done. Now the eye other focus is also picking eye and follow the eye which is great and if I'll move the big face out of picture and press uh, higher the focus it's maybe again maybe destruction okay let's put it oh that's why
maybe face is just too small let's zoom in okay now it's got it now it's got the eye and it's moving around and following the box is following the eye around the screen which is great So now you've seen what working, what's not, and how uh, good is that setup. And of course, it's always better to use native lenses for Sony, like use Sony lenses. And I even see videos of some people who's passionate folks like me who's trying to adapt Canon EF lenses to Sony system. Uh, especially one guy was actually kind of angry <laughs> with, with people like me and calling you know names like it's stupid you should use Sony lens and stuff like that so to, to those people I can say I appreciate your knowledge I appreciate your advice I I think you know what you're talking about but <laughs> you know to be uh, to call people like me names and be angry at us. Uh, you know, last time I've checked, it's still a free country and we can do whatever we want with our money and uh, things we buy. So please don't be angry. <laughs> but anyway, I'll do more videos like this with different lenses and post them very soon. I'm working on it right now. So uh, don't forget to subscribe to get notifications of that videos. Also, please write your comments. Please let me know uh, what you like in this type of uh, videos, this type of tests, and what would you like to see beside what I've done, so I can, you know, adjust my tests and make more interesting videos with these tests. Please subscribe, please give me a thumb up, write your comment and I'll see you in next video. Bye bye now.